Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a little different, and instead of a digital drawing, I'm going to show you how to make some really pretty and aesthetic Polaroids. I will be using Photoshop, but your favorite drawing or photo editing program will probably work as well. The most important thing is that you have layers, the selection and transform tools, especially color and rectangular selection, adjustments such as saturation, contrast, and brightness, the brush and eraser, and clipping masks. I'm not really familiar with different software, so I can't say for sure, but these are pretty basic features, so hopefully you will be able to follow along no matter what program you are using. You will also need Spotify or another music streaming platform, and if you want to print your Polaroids, you will obviously need access to a printer and preferably some nice dirty cardstock. I'm going to start with a set of 9 Polaroid templates which you can find on my Pinterest and which will be linked below. And all you have to do is right click to download it, open it as a new document, and if you plan to print, make sure it's in CMYK color mode and has a high resolution of at least 300 ppi. Mine is at 500, hence the lag in the videos that I'm going to show you. And unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to share the PSD file, so you will have to make the insides of the frames yourself. And you can easily do this by using your rectangular selection tool to select the white area, copy and paste it onto a new layer, scale and place them appropriately, and repeat that with all the templates. It's okay if it doesn't line up perfectly with the white area on the base layer because we will end up covering that area later on. Another option is just skipping this step and using the opacity adjustment slider and rectangular selection tool to delete all the areas of the photo that overlap with the border but that method gives you a lot less flexibility because you have to decide right away how you want it cropped. Once all your templates are set up, you can choose some photos of your favorite singers, celebrities, maybe just your friends, pretty much anything you want. This tutorial is sort of intended for making Polaroids of singers, that's what I did, but as long as you have a song as well as a photo in mind, you can totally still do it. I feel like taking screenshots from Instagram is kind of the best way to go here, because Pinterest often just doesn't have as many photos to choose from. So I just take a bunch of screenshots of pictures I like and drag them onto my document. You'll see that I ended up making some changes to the pictures I actually printed, so don't feel pressured to decide right away which 9 photos you like best. It's just as simple as positioning your photo over the white square layer and making a clipping mask, and you can also edit it a little if you want. However, you should follow the rules of composition and avoid cropping images at the joints like elbows or knees. Because the photos I used are Instagram screenshots, you can see the tagged icon or those dots that show it's part of a carousel, so I use the brush, blur, smudge, and noise tools to edit those out. Next, you will have to choose a song you want under the photo. Once you've decided, open up Spotify or whatever app you use on your phone, play that song, and take a screenshot. Send it to your computer and drag it into the document. The order in which you do these next two steps doesn't really matter, but you will want to use the color range tool in the select menu to select the background and delete it. And then you will go to hue and saturation under adjustments, which is in the image menu, and turn the saturation all the way down or somehow get it into grayscale. Lastly, I like to use the brush, selection, transform, and eraser tools to make it look like the song is at 0 minutes and 0 seconds just for continuity. Finally, scale the screenshot to fit on the frame and repeat with the other songs and Polaroids.
some wallpapers or photos that you think match your pictures. I use Pinterest, but there's also WeHeartIt, Imgur, Google Images or Ecosia, and even Instagram accounts that only post aesthetic wallpapers. As you will see in the video, it's a good idea to find multiple backgrounds you like and try them all out. Pay attention to the undertones and colors of the pictures you plan to use, but if you really like a certain wallpaper that doesn't match your picture, you can try using the adjustments like hue and saturation and color balance, on one or both of the photos so they match. Here, I mainly tried to find backgrounds that match the color and themes in the photos, so many of them are analogous or monochromatic, and they have similar temperatures. That just means that if this photo has cooler colors that are more blue tinted, the background should have those as well. However, if you prefer, you can try using complementary colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. I didn't really do this because I wanted them to look really cohesive, and most of the photos I used only had one really dominant color. Regardless of the palette you're working with, if you follow these rules of color theory, you should get a really nice match between the photo and the background. So when you've picked out a few backgrounds, just copy and paste them under the photo and text layers and over the black frame layer, then click Create Clipping Mask. Depending on the pattern and colors, you may want to turn up the brightness and contrast on the text layer so that it's legible against the background. Finally, you can merge all your layers and arrange the Polaroids for printing.
Here they are. I'm so happy with how they turned out and I hope you love yours as well. So I'm putting these away for now. I put one of them in this Polaroid frame that my sister got from Urban Outfitters, but the other ones are just going into a little plastic bag for organization. And I ordered some stickers online yesterday, so when they show up, we'll decorate these Polaroids together. I'll see you then.